I remember one of the very first conversations that the three of us had, uh, Jeff, Sam, and Laura, was about uh, the really traumatic experience of living through a hurricane during the making of Jurassic Park. Yeah. Uh, can you recount that just to just to kick us off? Because it's an amazing story of what everybody went through. Because yeah, and we want to share it with you because you can't imagine what it's like to have trauma around you while trying to make a movie. <laughs> yeah. um, we shot in Hawaii for about two weeks, three weeks. Two weeks exactly. I and then we went to work still. one morning, and they said you're not required today. Just stay at the hotel because we've got a hurricane coming. It was an unparalleled sense of family because we went through something together. But in the middle of the thing, didn't we, was it to just a couple of us who went and said, dare we go to that door right there and just peek out at the height of the thing? And, and I did. And boy, oh boy, I'd never been or have not since been any in anything like that. Ever. It is something. And it was like Wizard of Oz. You see things Sideways. flying by horizontally like yeah. that. Uh, Eerily, 30 years in. later. <laughs> we had a very different kind of experience, but it had its own kind of adversity. The COVID protocols. And we had to shut down. And Colin's ease of like, this is cool, we've got this, we're all gonna be in our room for a week to 10 days. <laughs> that memory of how we can all find the best in ourselves and each other when we don't know what's gonna happen next. And I love that the theme of the film resonates the gift really that we were given and your leadership within it. It was yeah. incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Chris and Dewanda on set for the first time. One of the first shots we did after you climbed out of that plane is when both of you draw your weapons at the same time. Oh, yeah. no. it's, mm. That's a good shot. It was one of the, it was one wow. of the, definitely That's the first day. Yeah. Uh, and, and how did that feel? Like I, to me, I felt like I was, I was looking at you know, two heroes of this movie next to each other for the first time. Obviously, it was, I was fired up. I remember it very well. Yeah. And I remember it mostly because if you ever wanted to do one of those master classes <laughs> on how to be a badass, yeah, he's my action hero coach. Yeah, Chris yeah. is my yeah. action, hero, action coach. hero And he knows yeah. how to deliver. Hero. He knows how to yeah. deliver. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, all I need to do is listen to Chris Pratt. It was really nice to get to know Dewanda more and start diving into our characters because we have a really great partnership through the course of uh, yeah. this movie. And it was, it was a lot of fun. I'll never forget it. You willing to risk your life for people you never met? You want to ask questions or you want to ride? There are moments uh, that you just do something, and then uh, five years later, 30 years later, it's iconic. And you weren't thinking, I'm about to do something iconic when you do it. I don't think really anyone thinks that before you do something. Oh, Is there anything that any of you did where you just you had an instinct, you did something, something happened, it seemed casual, yeah, maybe that'll make the movie, and now it's on T-shirts and it's memes? Like lying sideways with your shirt open, how did that come about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I do not know. I can't imagine this. It was not in the script. I can't imagine that Steven Spielberg said, that's good, but before we go, Jeff, how about a little more of that? I don't think I said, uh, Steven, hang on, I got an idea. Uh, please, uh, let me do that. I, I, I just don't remember. <laughs> I, can tell you, I can tell you a good example. I just took my glasses off that day when you see that big dinosaur. And now everyone in this film takes their glasses off at some point. <laughs> it wasn't smooth. You weren't like, you know, like you were, you, 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 we felt what you felt. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Yeah. And I think those are the moments that make Jurassic special. For me, our franchise has always featured strong female characters. My moment that I remember for you that has become iconic was actually something you said. It ought to be me really going. Why? Well, I'm a... Uh... And your own, uh... Look. Come on, let's go. We can discuss sexism and survival situations when I get back. It was 1992, and when I had a couple of lines that were referencing her independence and feminism, even references like, now, should we have her it say doctor? Yeah, right, she's a doctor. Mm -hmm. Everything was a conversation about what we can get away with with this female character in an action movie. So insidious. And now, <laughs> uh, yeah. we don't, we're not having those conversations yeah. in this movie. And thanks to the franchise keeping that alive and you guys keeping that alive, we hope that movies always feel like that. I'll give Emily a lot of credit for that too, Emily Carmichael, because the very r initial conversations about this character, how do, how do we bring these three people into 2022? 
through, what do they feel about the modern world we're in? We, everything has changed so much. It's, it's, you know, it's kind of crazy and overwhelming. And I think all of us had those kinds of conversations. Like, what does is, what is Ian Malcolm see now? What does Ellie see now? And you were all so clear about it. Part of it came from you. And I feel like these characters are, you know, I love casting people who are similar to the characters that they play in a lot of ways. If you look there, there's parts of these characters I in all of you. That's like why Ramsey. there are no auditions. <laughs> You're just you. Rims, no mama Jim. Our I characters are aspirational for both I of us. I wish. It's fine. Well, it's, like, <laughs> it's done. It's the best, yeah. Speaking of iconic things, uh, I don't think you ever expected that, that doing this was going to turn into something people right. do at zoos uh -huh. and baby yeah. this dude with their toys. I saw this funny meme recently that said, like, Owen continues his mission to finally get a high five from one of these dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> And so I sought some people out who had trained dolphins for the military or who trained vicious cats or bears for the movies. And when it came down to the technique for commanding these animals was I have to create the illusion that I am the alpha or the, the mother of these animals. And so the way I do that is I put my hand in its face and then I bury my eye right into this little pocket. Okay, eyes on me, hey, that's good. That is damn good. So when it's looking up at me, it's seeing my hand and my eye. When my hand's in their face and my eye's in that gap, I'm, I'm in charge. Yeah, so I couldn't have known at that time that it would be a, a thing, it would be a meme and a vet, you know, people at zoos around the world were doing it with like their animals and- <laughs> Yeah, does that, it work? That, yeah. Old ladies with their poodles I saw, I saw, Park. yeah, I saw like a little kid doing it with its puppies and I saw like <laughs> parents doing it with their kids and it was like going around, it was really cool. Go. I always saw the, your ability to, I won't say command, but your relationship with all these raptors was uh, someone who was searching for family. And they were a family to him at that time. And you lose them. And over the course of this trilogy, you found a family. So much of the fun of, of the dynamic of, of these characters was that they are totally wrong for each other. In fact, they've been on a date and it didn't work. It was a disaster. <laughs> and so that kind of started off this, this journey of our characters of, of just being like, what would happen if these two people stuck together for survival? Yeah. And now we become a family. It's been so much fun with, with Chris. Unlike Claire and Owen, we do have a lot of similarities. We both like to laugh a lot and we both love our families. And so we've just, we've just had a total blast together these last three movies. It's been so much fun. It has been, and I really, I really love how dedicated you've always been to allowing the relationship to evolve. Oftentimes, and it's that sort of sexual tension or that chemistry that you're hanging the film on. You know, there's obvious chemistry there, and we're waiting for this the big kiss at the end of the movie or whatever. Once we did that in the first movie, you were really adamant. You're like, we're not, we've done that, so what's the next step? You can't just go back to, oh, it's them again, and oh, something didn't work out, but maybe by the end of the movie, they'll kiss again. You know, like, so. Maybe third time's the charm. Yeah. <laughs> so by the third movie, it's like, we're this relationship, and we're tried and true, we're forged in the crucible of, like, high-stress situations and having to survive. They are in the real love, despite the fact that not everything is perfect, and now we've got a bigger purpose in Maisie, and I really like our relationship. The making of these three movies is behind us. I mean, we'll always be friends and stuff, but it's No been, more it's, kissing, Chris. Oh. <laughs> I know. What if I, we do a sequel on my iPhone? Is that a problem? <laughs> so I'm just curious, like, if it's 10 years from now and someone just says, what's the, what's the thing that, that happened on that movie, the one moment that you're never going to forget? Not that's in the movie. The ex part yeah. of the experience of making the movie. Mm. The animatronics tell us. Tell us, what was it like on the first one with the technology? That was such a groundbreaking moment for cinema. Everything changed because of Jurassic Park. My, my main, main um, T-Rex moment was the first time we saw, a, you know, something that could eat you that was scary. It was in the dark and there was a dead goat. Jeff was <laughs> screaming. The, the car is half smashed. The kids are screaming. And, and the T-Rex comes down and just goes slightly too far and crashes on the top of the car and all its teeth come out. What? No. And so they had to pull the thing back on, 
And all these guys are putting their teeth back in the T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> a, 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 a gummy T Rex yeah, just doesn't really have the it's same. It's no. scary. <laughs> yeah. It's certainly easier to act opposite a real animatronic dinosaur head that's like the size of oh, a Volkswagen yeah. bus oh, than yeah. it is like a tennis ball and be like, okay, now you're you're yeah. terrified, but look kind of about right here. And you're just looking at nothing <laughs> and like, this is embarrassing. Yeah, they're a great gift. <laughs> In this movie, Steven's original characters joining with your characters, all of us being together was yeah. incredible. There's that one shot where we had like nine marks laid out yes. and everybody had to move forward from one position to another. And it wasn't until then that I realized what was happening. I right. just got chills yeah. Yeah. thinking about it. Moment. There's two stories that are running in parallel and then they yeah. finally collide. Do you remember the moment? when it collided. They say don't move at the yeah. same time. Oh, well, that was don't great. Don't yeah. That's, That's great. probably the moment where it was like synapses, right? It was yeah. like popping off. It was just like that entire sequence was like pass baton, pass yep. baton. Relationship, relationship, relationship. relationship. yeah. <laughs> well, one moment that I won't forget very soon is, uh, I remember when we like we run out and we see like the Kiganotosaurus and T-Rex about to face off. And he said, hey, mom, you gotta come, come here real quick. And he showed me the monitor and you're like, that, that's not Ramsey, that's Mamadou being excited he's in a dinosaur movie. Because <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I was like, man, you better. Yeah. <laughs> it's been such a pleasure working and meeting with the new cast and then the brand new cast. You guys have been so great and fun to work and get to know and have treated us so kindly and with respect and I'm very moved by that and I want to thank all of you. I had never, felt such a collaborative environment, so I'm really grateful. It was a very beautiful experience of coexistence. We've just had a total blast together. It was a lot of fun, I'll never forget it. Dinosaurs humble all of us. That's why I love these films, that's why I tell these stories, is I think it, it puts humans into context. As we say at the end of the film, it shows that we've only been here for this tiny little sliver of time, and yet we act like we were here the whole time, and that we own the place. Uh, and we don't, and I feel like everybody here felt that as we were making the film. We, we, we made a movie uh, that was uh, about our place on Earth, not right now, but uh, over the course of, of natural history.